Merrick Garland announced that there is going to be the creation of, an, of a special counsel in this case. Uh, we'll have a piece up about that here shortly as well. But it will be uh, uh, Mr. Robert Hur, I believe, is who Merrick Garland had said. He's going to be the individual who is, uh, has been named to look into these classified documents, the special counsel. And so he appointed Robert Hur, and this they were working with the U.S. attorney based in Chicago to help come to the decision uh, and review some of these documents. And there, he's going to be the one that's going to, that'll be looking at all. It's just, it's interesting uh, how, I am glad that he's, there's no raid. There isn't a raid. So, now this guy is from Maryland. He's a U.S. attorney in Maryland. So I'm kind of wondering what his background is. I think he's a Trump holdover. Lorraine says that he's a Trump holdover. And he previously served as principal associate deputy general. So we'll see. Ben Cardin likes him. He could, I don't know, if Chuck Grassley doesn't like him, I'm not wanting to like him, right? So we'll see where this goes. Because, but now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now, wait a minute. Hold up. Even if he's kind of a lefty, does that matter if this is lefty on lefty war? Because then what matters is, is, he, is he a Biden lefty or not? Is he part of the faction that does not want Biden to go in, tw in 2024? Oh, yes, you absolutely have to think about all this now. Gone are the days when it was just about law and order, ladies and gentlemen. Now, every action you take professionally, personally, you can forecast where you're going to go because of your political affiliations. So in this case, looks like a lefty, but is he a Biden-friendly lefty or not? Because all of this is just Democrat on Democrat warfare. That, that, that this came out at all is because of Democrats. The reason that it didn't come out at all prior was because of Democrats. The reason this didn't come up before the election? Uh, Democrats. This, you're telling me he had these documents in his garage the whole damn time? These are holdover documents from the time he was vice president of the United States. This, this, this is even back before Trump was elected. So Democrats are the reason why this never saw light, and Democrats are the reason why it's seen light now, and the only reason that it's seen light now is because they don't want Joe Biden in 2024. He would be politically annihilated. So, this is, they're trying, this is how they do politics. They don't look at, they don't look at merit and credibility and character. This is how they're looking at it. So, uh, I mean, this, I, we don't know a lot. Of, I'm sure we're going to learn a lot about Robert Hur. I'm sure we will. But at this point, I don't know. I think that, I mean, they could end up finding him. I mean, if he's going to be, if he finds that indeed there was uh, criminal action, then what end up he could recommend, to, they'll recommend to the DOJ whether or not charges be brought forward. And then if charges are forward and then you could have, you know, the, the, uh, maybe, may, I mean, maybe there would be an impeachment process. I mean, this is, this is kind of a big deal because he did not have that executive privilege and because it was, and I'm wondering if it was more than just two places at this point, right? Kind of makes me think it might be more than just two places. Mm -hmm.